So, Barack, very nice seeing you. Nice what seeing you. dropped in the post? What day did you get this letter? So I received the letter on the 9th of September, and the day after the Queen sadly passed away. Gosh, so this could have been one of the last letters yes, she ever one of wrote last. or dispatched. Mm -hmm. Incredible, and it was from you. Could you please share with us, Barack, we, we, we said that you wrote to her about your love of animals and your concern. Could you please read to us, um, and here is your, your lovely letter. Let me just see it. Let, yes. let me see here. Um, here is this lovely letter on Buckingham Palace, headed note paper, and uh, signed by the head of the, the Queen's private of office, as dictated by the Queen. So listen, right, so what, what did she say? Dear Master Davison, the Queen has asked me to thank you for, the le for your letter of 1st February with regard to the Instagram account you have created to educate people on the importance of animals. Please do accept my apologies for the delay in response. Due to the high volume of mail sent to Her Majesty, it has not been possible to reply until now. The Queen was encouraged to know of your interest in protecting our planet and its wildlife, and was touched that you should wish to share your thoughts with her. Yours sincerely. Oh, well, that's brilliant. You must feel really chuffed to get that. Really yes, important. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what was your concern about animals? What do you want to get across? Because you're on the telly now, so you can. You've got an yes. even bigger audience to tell yes. about it. <laughs> so, um, about nine months ago, I've always had um, a big um, love for animals, and I knew about them a lot, and I wanted to um, share my story and educate people about the animals, because I felt like not enough people know about animals and how important they are to our planet. So I started an Instagram account called Barack the Explorer, where I teach people about animals and I post daily um, fun facts about animals and uh, a lot about them. Well, I'm going to follow you. As you yes. That was yeah, uh, that's great. Barack the Explorer. Barack the Explorer. Okay. Um, so you wrote this letter to Her Majesty the Queen in February. Obviously, we all learned as a nation about the terrible news on Thursday evening. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you heard that? And how surprised were you when you saw Buckingham Palace headed note paper being delivered through your letterbox the next morning? Well, I Wait a minute, I've got Barack Obama here, right? But, um, oh, there you are there. B-A-R-A-K. Yes, I've got you, Barack Explorer. the Explorer. Yes. yes, very good. Sorry, sorry. So how did you feel when you got the letter? Um, <laughs> So I felt shocked. Um, obviously, when she died, I was very sad and touched, and like the rest of the UK and the world. And I just came home one day, um, the day after she passed away, and just saw this letter sitting down. I went over to pick it up, and I opened it, and it was from the Queen. And I just felt really spooked out that the day after she passed away, I yeah. received a letter from her. Yeah. Because and it just feels like you know, a gift from heaven. On the, in, a gift from heaven, that's yeah. a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. On the uh, Instagram account, Barack the Explorer, uh, where you are, you have some fun facts about corgis. Yes, um, I posted yesterday a video about corgis in honour of the Queen. So if you would like to go and check it out, please do. Yeah, the Queen's first corgi was called? Um, Dookie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dookie. And um, Susan was another one? Susan was the queen she took on her honeymoon with him and mm. Prince Philip. This is lovely. This is lovely. And I'll tell you this. Thank you. I never really dedicated my time to animals until I rescued a dog. I adopted a dog. And I saw animals in a whole different light. And I watched loads of animal documentaries and I do patronage for animal charities and things as well. What do you think it is that we need to do? We need to reconnect and we need to treat animals. We need to respect them more, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, we need to respect animals more and just know about them more because I just feel like people don't know about, enough about them. Mm. They love animals, most of the people in the world, but they just don't know about their importance and how much they mean to our planet. And how hopeful are you that our new king will share your views on that? Um, Hopefully, um, he, I, he's going to do a great job, I'm sure. And hopefully I will have the honor to meet him one day and talk to him about our wildlife and our animals. 